Hey guys, I'm back with part two. Um, we got cut off. <laughs> uh, I'd reached a maximum, apparently. Still learning how to work this new phone I have. Uh, but anyway, so I am done with the classroom's closet. And I think I showed that on the last video. And this is the closet that's in the library that the shelf could not fit into. So I ended up stacking everything neater <laughs> in all the bins and trying to eliminate this. So these are the items that I'm trying to um, get rid of and find other and or find other places for. Um, and I'm not putting them back in. Essentially, I'm not putting them back in the closet. Um, most of it is trash. Um, no good stuff. This is the last container that has some of my fall items. We made these last year. I had gotten these, um, what do you call these things? Frames, these wooden frames from my local resource place. And um, the kids and I decorated them with some fall colored leaves. And we put uh, ribbon on them. I thought they were really cute. So we hang them. We usually hang them around the house with some of our fall drawings in them. So these found a great spot. They were in one of the bags that I had. And so now they have a place. And I'm placing the last container inside the closet. So now this stuff, I will be able to have easier access to it. I need to replace this. This is actually a shoe holder, like an under the bed shoe storage thing. And inside here, I have all of my bulletin board um, type things. So all of my bulletin board supplies are here, posters and that sort of thing. And I used to have one of those um, teacher's resource bulletin board holder kind of things. It's made out of cardboard, but well, that didn't last long. So I tried this and this lasted a while and now the zipper is broken and posters are falling out all over the place. So I am going to need to find another resource to, um, another way to hold that. So I'm going to have to rethink some of that. But other than that, here's the top. I reorganized everything, put these back where they belong and my, um, what do you call these things? High chairs that go on top of other chairs type things. I have two of those, but I don't, I'm not using those now. And, um, all of my paint and glue, I was able to fit back here, right on the top there. See, I forgot I had this big thing of glue, washable glue. Forgot I had this, and I actually bought glue this year. And all I really needed to do was fill some old glue containers. But, you know, again, you forget what's in this closet if you don't get to go in it all the time. So um, I guess I'll be using more frequently some of the things that are in here. And um, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Wait, let me show you the last bit of... Um, Trying to remember if I showed you the, the other closet, if I shared that. Um, but if not, here is the finished closet. And I threw my library bag right on top here, which is a bad thing. But I, didn't, I don't know where else to put this. Um, there may be space in the other closet. But anyway, um, this, is, this will be my library weekly, my weekly library bag that we take. And then all the other items are stored nicely neatly so i've got some sort of um closet organization going on how long it'll last lord only knows um so these i'm getting rid of my sister-in-law gave me these last year and um what it is when we go camping the kids were going to use these at the lake it's a body glove and you wrap yourself around in it and inside of it here's the black one it has three of these um, pool noodle type things inside on either side of it and it's supposed to keep you afloat as you um, are in the middle of it here and then you tie it around yourself but anyway um, the kids hate using them when we go camping so no need to keep these things but I did decide to keep the pool noodles I mean, they don't have a hole in them, but I'm pretty sure we can cut them into little rounds and make cars or whatever. There is definitely a project here. So that's what I'm doing with these now. I am cutting the, the ends off. 
because I don't feel like trying to take the knot out. So I'm just cutting through it and taking out the um, pool noodles and I'm going to save these and toss the others. So that ends my part one and part two of my before and after closet cleanup. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.